Manchester United back to winning ways against Southampton and the United Twins need to speak about it. United, United. Well, that was a little different. <laughs> Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Yeah. Manchester United with 2 0 victories at St. Mary's today, beating Russell Martin's side in what ended up being a rather convincing game. But before we speak any further, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and share to your friends and frenemies to expand the land of all 22 inhabitants. Southampton did start this game with a good level of energy which ignited yeah. the crowd works hand in hand. Because on one side, there's a fan base eager to see their side be fearless and potent while being back in the top flight. And the side will also want to impose themselves and Southampton did exactly that for a good part of that first half. 18 year old Tyler Dibbling tested Diogo Delo and our left back for the day really struggled at times. The signs were there and he eventually gave away a penalty which luckily enough was saved by Andre Onana. He, he has been catching some flack in recent times but may have changed the course of the game altogether today. With that strong right hand, a true turning point in this fixture. CM, you make a, a really good point there because football can be a funny game. Southampton looked more physically imposing, technically were good until it reached the final third, which has been an issue for the Saints so far, dead bottom of the league when it comes to conversion rate, and that doesn't bode well, being one of the favourites early on to sink back down to the championship. We also are one of the worst teams in, in the division at converting chances, which is nothing new and we had our moments as the game began to present spaces to run into. Xerxes desperately stretched for one in the first half, just couldn't get enough on the ball. He actually had a few in this game, but seemed slightly hesitant to pull the trigger in earlier moments, which allowed defenders to have an extra tenth of a second or more to recover. Mateus Delic getting his first Manchester United goal, man of the match performance also, which was a, a cherry on top. Still in the infant stages of his career at United, of course, but there have been promising signs. I think Lissandro Martinez looked a lot more in rhythm today, which is the exact game he needed to have. Marcus Rashford getting his first goal since Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinal last season. Just let that sink in. It was heavily documented about Marcus's work during the international break and hopefully that controlled finish from outside of the area will provide a level of confidence that I believe Eric Ten Hag and this team needs him to have. Manuel Ugarte came off the bench to make his Manchester United debut today. A cameo of directing traffic off ball, closing up gaps of space that could ignite goal scoring opportunities and so forth. Christian Eriksen in his first start since that crazy Coventry game for United, I think. He, he played decently as a forward thinker, could have got an assist also if the ball was closer to Xerxes as mentioned before. Mm. Shout outs to Alejandro Garnacho for sealing the deal also. Just another knockout punch for Southampton who were going through it during the second half at times. Never were really able to replicate what they had prior to conceding in that first half. And for us, after such a crucial victory, it's important not to get carried away, of course, but it's what we needed. You spoke about it in the vibe check, Cappy, that there needed to be an emphatic result and it arrived. Barnsley, next up in the League Cup third round, consistently have been a top six side in League One since their relegation from the championship in 2022. Daryl Clark has kept them in and around the playoff positions. Not a great result for them, on Saturday, day of recording against Stevenage, free no defeat. But sure, the, the test will be interesting. Historically speaking, we have thrived in cup competitions during the Eric Ten Hag era, and expectations should be no different when it comes to replicating that. For once, a good weekend to be a United fan. And when you're the first, very first game of the weekend, that is a beautiful thing. Indeed. Business is about to pick up, of course. Check out our previous video, speaking about United's upcoming schedule and fixture congestion as an overall topic. We'd also like to welcome and, and thank existing viewers of this channel and also those who may be coming across CM22ENT for the first time. 
Road to 1K seems like a realistic goal at some point in 2025. Perhaps we should set some goals here. Might we have might to, have to. But for now, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Keep sharing to your friends and frenemies. Oh, and until the next time, we'll see you lot. See you bit.